Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you probably can already tell from the title, I really want to talk about plastic pollution. And you've probably heard the word plastic once or twice already today. You've probably heard it in an article, you've probably heard it on the news, you've probably even seen plastic lying on the side of the road. And this really upsets me because I am an animal lover, a nature enthusiast, and I would absolutely love the opportunity to travel. I would love to do that. In this video, I just want to share awareness of how bad plastic pollution is. I started looking into using non-plastic eco-friendly products. Having read articles and seen images of animals and our habitat and our planet in distress, single-use plastic is literally things that we use once and we throw away. Plastic bags, plastic cups, plastic straws, cotton buds, toothbrushes, uh, yoghurt pots, plastic shampoo and conditioner bottles. The list is honestly endless. We literally use it once and we will just throw it away. Some of us don't even recycle and that you honestly should be ashamed of yourself. We all live in one planet, like our whole planet is our home, it's our only home. And I don't know why we're not making changes now to help future to help the future, to save our planet now for our, our future. In this video, I've chosen products that I've researched into and are happy to make the change to use in my household and to take traveling with me. Hopefully you can take some tips and learn different things throughout this video and hopefully make some changes yourself. So I'm gonna put my glasses on for this. Oh my God. There's a bit of a glare on my glasses. So please just excuse that. It's literally just so I can read what I've written and can see what I'm picking up because I'm blind. Now, the item I want to start off with is a toothbrush. And now I know some of you may have heard of using a bamboo toothbrush either on social media or have used one already. And I ordered these because I read Anne Hathaway's Instagram caption. It was a clip from a film and if I can find it, I'll put it here. And the caption read something like, every toothbrush you have owned is still on this planet and that made me really that made me feel gross like the all the toothbrushes i have used in my life and i'm 22 years old are still on this planet and it honestly it scared me a bit it honestly did like i'm 22 and they say you should change your toothbrushes every three months they say so that's four toothbrushes a year times that by 22 and that is 88 toothbrushes now, minus a year or two, because I know we're not all born with teeth. And I read that out loud to my mum, and my mum said, oh, I wonder how many uh, the whole household has used. So on an average, only going by my age, I times that by four people. I have four people in my household. And we have, on an average, used 352 toothbrushes as an average. And all of those toothbrushes, 352 of them, are still on this planet. So, as I was saying, I've ordered myself, yes, a bamboo toothbrush. These toothbrushes, they came in a pack of four. I bought mine on Amazon. Bamboo toothbrushes, they're 100% natural. They're vegan, they're compostable, organic, no animal products, and BRA free. And on the back it just says, this toothbrush is made of bamboo and it contains no animal products. It's super panda friendly, not impacting on habitat nor food sources. Brush three times a day is good for your teeth. Do not show your toothbrush and be sure to rinse after use. Enjoy your toothbrush and thank you for purchasing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited for this to come through the door. But yes, they all came in little individual cardboard boxes. Each says, I don't know if they all say different. The hundreds of choices we make each day impact the environment. Sometimes it's a big decision, sometimes it's small, as changing your toothbrush. And in each of these packs, they came with like little lines on where you put your thumb to brush your teeth. And uh, one to four, and um, I have number two. So if you are using these in your, oh by the way, excuse my nails. So it's it's easy for your household to tell which is whose toothbrush, because normally you buy the plastic ones and you buy them like different colors and you know whose is whose. That brings me on to my um, next item. If I'm gonna be using a biodegradable toothbrush, how can I change my toothpaste? To be honest, I only researched into this because I was honestly cu just curious. But I found this one, which is made in the UK, and I got this one from Amazon as well. And it's the Geo Organics Tooth Soap Stick. 
This is my little tooth soap. So it comes in like this small, no bigger than the palm of my hand. It's a tooth soap stick, a natural foaming formula with organic essential oil in the flavour English peppermint and it is made in England. It's a 100% natural way to clean your teeth, made entirely from non-toxic ingredients and flavoured with organic peppermint essential oil and allows teeth to absorb nutrients without coating them. So basically with this, this will last about um, six months. Actually, I think this is going to last me a bit longer than six months. I'm not going to lie that this the whole whole thing is a soup um soup it's a soap bar so it's what it looks like and uh you can push it up from the bottom when you begin to like make a dent you basically just wet your toothbrush and rub in circular motions and then obviously brush your teeth at first i was a bit like oh this is really weird it tastes funny it doesn't feel like toothpaste at all i was surprised at how much it did foam at first i was a bit like oh it's not foaming very well i quite enjoyed using it i'm not gonna lie i hope maybe you can make this little change and buy yourself or your family a bamboo toothbrush so these are definitely going in my suitcase when i go on holiday at the end of the month i now want to talk about the photo which I'm sure most of you have seen is a photo of a seahorse wrapped around a cotton bud, q-tip, an earbud, whatever you call it from wherever you are. These are small plastic earbuds we use and throw them down the toilet, manage to sneak past our sewage system and end up in our rivers and oceans. And unfortunately, Justin Hoffman took this photo. I'm going to pop it here for you. This innocent, beautiful creature is clearly hanging on to this disgusting used gross plastic cotton bud and i bought mine i don't know why i decided to buy mine online again on amazon and these ones were made in china they literally came in uh, a box of 100 researching into using these cotton buds i found a petition online um called switch the stick i'll put a little hashtag here it's basically to help kickstart the banning of plastic cotton buds. I know some UK retailers have changed already, um, but some major retailers are still selling the plastic ones. I will link the petition link down below and I will post it on some of my, actually I will post it on all of my social media platforms. So the next couple of items I have are, actually I was really, really, really excited to do this. I stumbled across a YouTube video and for the love of God, I cannot remember her name. It was one of my suggested videos to watch and I just happened to stumble across it and binge watching it. And she mentioned something, instead of using bottled shampoos and conditioners, she uses bars of shampoo and conditioner. And at first I was like, what was a bar of shampoo and conditioner? And it literally is what it is. It's a bar of shampoo that you wash your hair with. There's no plastic, there's no container, it's just in a bar. I really, really researched into this because I was fascinated by this idea. If you're traveling and you're traveling by plane, let's be specific here, I got really, really frustrated with myself because I recently took a trip to Glasgow with my friend Melissa, beginning of May, and I really should really stress myself out and she can vouch me for me here because I think she got a bit frustrated at me. They give you this tiny little plastic bag to put your uh, liquids in. Now, mine's a short haul flight. I didn't need to take a big suitcase full of luggage. I literally just took carry on. And I was stressing that I wasn't gonna be able to fit my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, face cream and all the other little liquids that I wanted to take. Foundation is another one. And I was really panicking. I was like, how is all this gonna fit in this tiny plastic bag? When you go on holiday, you're not gonna take a great bottle of Tresemme with your eye out. So you're gonna decanter down a plastic bottle of shampoo into a smaller plastic bottle of shampoo. And I don't, I don't see the point in that. And having researched into this, this is a fantastic idea for travellers and for people going on holiday. You're not going to leave any plastic behind. But I went into a Lush store. I was really interested and said, like, I'm really interested in like your shampoo bars and conditioners. I want to try them out. And she was like, oh yes, like what sort of one are you looking for? I don't really use the creamy shampoos. I find it makes my hair quite greasy. So she uh, recommended this one and. I did buy these little jars here, by the way. Uh, my mum gave me these. You can buy little tins to keep them in because obviously you can't keep them in the shower because they are a bar. Just like a bar of soap, it's just going to wash away. This one is called Scenic. It's a seaweed based formula and I am in love with this. Yeah, so literally it is just a bar. It is just a bar. <laughs> and it's, oh, it smells like holiday, to be honest. It's so, it's really nice. When you like rinse it out, you can feel how squeaky clean your lovely hair is. So I bought two. And the other one I bought was, honey, I washed my hair. Now, 
I did buy this kind of for the name, but I also bought it for the smell. Gorgeous. Honey smell. It makes me feel oh, luxurious smelling this. Really, really, really good idea. You shampoo your hair, you're going to condition it, so you buy a conditioner. Now this does look like a plain bar of soap. It is not. There's a big hair in there. Ew. This one is called mm, Big. It's meant to add texture and volume, so I thought having quite fine and thin hair myself, I thought I'd try this out. Um, it doesn't come off on your hands as well as the shampoo does. I mean, I definitely have to really try and get it off the bar and put it through my hair quite a few times from, for it to feel like I've actually conditioned it. But it's the first one I've tried. I'm willing to try more ones. But again, these three pro products, uh, items, are definitely going in my suitcase on my holidays. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you make little changes or start to make a little beginner changes for our planet. If you do, please let me know down below. And if you have any more ideas on eco-friendly and non-plastic products to add to my collection, I'd love to know. So please write them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you share this video and give it a thumbs up to help share a little bit more awareness to your friends and family around you. It smells beautiful in here, it smells like a lush shop. <laughs>